Yo, what's up everyone, it's Asati here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we are going to start taking off the last pieces of this bike. So we're going to take off the forks and then the front fender and even the wheels to paint that. And even I think we're going to, we're going to take off the suspension and the springs. So it's going to be awesome. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm just going to set you guys up right here and uh, you guys get a third person view or whatever you want to call me taking off the wheels and then we're going to prepare them for paint and also the wheels we're going to change the rubber on them so not going to paint it once right away but this thing is going to get worked on to get some paint on there and also the spring are we going to work on as well so yeah let's get this off and let's get started so if you're enjoying this build series so far make sure you smash the like button subscribe and let's get straight into it All right, my phone ran out of storage, so I just cleaned it out. So that should be good for the rest of this episode. But the rear wheel is off, and now we just need to take off the front wheel, the forks, and the front fender. Alright, so now we got the front wheel off and I figure I'm move the bike back. Let's take off the rear suspension, uh, this thing right here, and then we can take off the forks and move it back and stuff like that. So, but I don't know how I'm going to film this right here because it's just on an angle and stuff. So I'm just going to take off the rear suspension. It's just a bolt right here and a bolt right there. So, I'm going to do that and then do a time lapse on me taking off this and then we should be all good. Okay, so now it's time to take off the forks and the front fender. So for that, we're gonna need some Allen keys. So uh, yeah, let's take the forks off and uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. All right guys, we got the forks off the bike and also the front fender and even the wheels are off so what i'm thinking about doing right now before we start sanding down the front fender and the um, forks and stuff like that i just walked into this thing right here but i think we can take off the rim tape or i'm gonna call it so there's this thing right here they put on and usually don't, if you have just this stripe on the wheel it doesn't really look that good but if you take the stripe and you buy one of those reflective ones and you put it on a black scooter or a black dirt bike or whatever it looks really cool because you get that like tron vibe because it looks pretty sick but on a rim when it's just like this and it's a gray background chromish whatever doesn't really look that good so it's going off and we're gonna paint the wheels so okay guys i just took off this first sticker on the fork and i realized i wasn't even recording so great but yeah, we're gonna do that on the second one. So right now I have a, not a tripod, it's the, a lamp on a workbench we have. So I put the phone up here so we have some fans free action which looks super dope hopefully. But now let's do the second fork. And let's make sure we're recording this time. And also we need to clean this up a bit because that's dirty. So uh, let's start off with the sticker and then we're gonna clean this up. So it's gonna be awesome. So. Just gonna start up with heating it up and making sure that uh, you know the glue gets we can get the sticker off as much as possible. Heat up the glue and everything. Alright, there you go guys, we got all the pieces of the sticker off. This was a really worn out sticker, so it just became like a million pieces. Now it's time to start cleaning this thing up and 
make it ready for paint. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. All right, so now it's time to do some degreaser and we're going to uh, fix up these forks right here. So if we put this thing in frame, here we go. This looks super dirty. So what we're going to do is, I usually do this on the floor because I want to have this angle. We're going to do it up here, so hopefully this works. So usually I spray it on here, but I guess I can do that anyway, so. And then let's, I don't have a brush right now, what I know of, so we're just going to have to use this cloth right here. Because the thing is, I don't really want to get any scratches at all, so this is, I guess, is the best way. If you know, you have any better ways to clean up the fork, the, these things down here, let me know. But, I mean, I, I, I'm sure there's a lot better ways, but... A few moments later. Alright guys, there you go. Now we have got it all off. Looks awesome. So if you turn around everywhere, it's all good. So now it's time to do this thing right here. I would I think I'm gonna use a metal brush. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. So uh yeah, let's do it. Alright, so I'm just gonna put you guys in right here. There you go. Now we can work freely down here, so uh, There you go. Hopefully you guys will be able to see now. And uh, yeah. So this right here is a uh, metal yeah. brush. And we're just going to take it easy and turn out to get on the forks. Rougher sandpaper and we're just going to try it here. Alright guys, I don't know how much I filmed of this, but now we're taking off the sticker and we're sanding down the paint. So now these forks are already painted, so oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna get some newspaper that we're going to mask this up so we don't paint this part of the fork because that's not good. So I mask this thing up and then we're gonna paint this in a gold paint, so that's gonna be awesome. And then I have sanded down the front fender so we can finish the plastics kit. So uh yeah. It looks kind of cool though, even though we sanded it down, still looks kind of cool, you know. With my pants though, like, yeah, I can't really, <laughs> this is why I don't use the nice pants when sanding plastic. So, yeah, I'm going to change that up later, but you know, now it's time to get this. But I'm just going to get something to mask this off with and, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, so what we're going to do right now is we have some newspaper right here I found upstairs. And we're going to wrap that around the fork, so... Let's just take down one of down. Okay, let's put one on the floor and let's work with this one we got up here. So you simply just can put it up here and around like this, around the edge, like this. And then we're going to, uh, there you go. Let's try to get it to the edge, and uh, there you go. So now we need some uh, scissors. There you go. Here you go. Here you go. Cut this thing off. Let's get another piece of tape just to hold this thing in place. So now we just do that with the other ones, and then we can put some gold paint on there. I don't really good at with that English part name, so let me know what the different parts on the fork is called in English. So. We really appreciate that because last time you guys let me know what the spark plug cap was called because I didn't know I just knew the spark plug but I didn't know what the thing was called that was going on top of it but it was a spark plug cap so thank you guys so much for letting me know that but this time I'm asking what are the different parts of the fork called I would really appreciate you guys leaving that in the comment section down below but now it's time to paint all right so now it's time to put on some primer on this front fender and then we gonna paint the fork they're really unstable in that thing but hopefully they're all good so yeah let's gonna hope for the best and uh, hopefully this spray can is enough
there you go. So now they're primered and we're gonna do that one. So, oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm sitting pretty good right here. So uh, yeah. All right guys, we got some primer on both the front fender and the forks. So if you put this down right here, so I can talk with you guys for a second. So now we got the primer on there. We're gonna wait to about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna do a full covering coat. And then tomorrow, which is gonna be the same video, we're gonna put the gold paint on the forks and the blue paint on the front fender. And then we have a complete plastic kit plus the fenders that we just need to do to change the wheels, paint the rims and uh, build the engine. And then we're done with this bike, which is gonna be absolutely awesome. So as I said in the last video, if you want to buy this for me, let me know that in Instagram DMs right here. Or if you just want to follow me for some awesome pictures of my other bike, which is my Beta RR, check out my Instagram at SNT Moto. And uh, yeah, we do some fun things like a competition there once in a while. So uh, check around there. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a second. Oh my god, guys, I just realized I didn't hit record once again. So I, I just put full primer on this, full coverage on this one. And uh, this thing right here, this fork, just attacked me. So, you know. This thing has fell on me, so now I put some metal pieces down here, so this thing won't fall over on top of me again. Hopefully, you never know, but yeah. So now it's time to paint these things for real, and this time I'm recording for real, so yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I keep forgetting to hit record. That's definitely something I need to improve on. I'm gonna look back in like a year, and it's like such a noob, just forgets to record all the time. But I'm just like, yeah, I still do that. Hopefully, I am look back at myself and saying I'm a big noob and I don't do it anymore, but you never know with me. So now I got some primer on there and tomorrow we're putting on the paint. So I'm super, super excited to see how the gold forks are gonna look. All right guys, it's the early morning, day two, and we're not gonna paint these two, these three things right here, just because they're still gonna have to dry. But we got the spring over there, which I forgot to repair yesterday, so we're going to do that. And uh, yeah, but the primer on these things are turning out amazing. And also look at this guys. There's legit freaking snow outside dude. Like it's my birthday today, 30th of October. And it's legit snow. Mad fan. But first I think we're gonna clean it up in that thing over there. So uh, yeah, let's do that. And then I think I'm going to take the... We have done this earlier today, so now it's time to put some blue paint on the front fender and some gold paint on the forks. So I'm really excited, so I think we'll start off with the fender and then move over to the forks. So this is gonna be awesome. So, and I saw some comments in the last video that, you know, I should be in a ventilated area, have some mask on and uh, stuff like that. So, of course, that's good for your health, you know, not to breathe this kind of stuff. But I always wanna paint, I do this with my hoodie, so, you know, at least there's, you know, a bit better, but, you know, I mean, I wish I had ventilation and all that kind of stuff, but sadly I don't, so I'd make the most out of what I have. But uh, now, let's paint this, so. Okay, what the f*** was that? Yeah, that didn't go to plan. Okay, now, now it should be better. There we go. <laughs> that, that, that was not planned at all. There you go, I'm just gonna let that dry and uh, paint these forks. Of course, empty out the can. Or not empty it completely, but you know. And look at that, that's gonna dry. And so, thankfully, this can is just gonna be done after I painted this, so I'm not gonna be worried about all the paint right here, but yeah, whatever. That front fan is looking good. But yeah, let's do this. Yo, that's gonna be awesome.
and the forks now painted the first layer and then we're gonna wait for about 10 to 15 minutes and put the second coat on so the gold is turning out amazing And there you go, I think that's it. So, the wheels, I took them off in this video, and I said I was going to do them in this video. But I think I'm saving that for another video, because I need my dad's help to take off the tire and the, the inner tube uh, without damaging it. So, but for right now, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay awesome, be positive. It's been your boy ST, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>